This is Eyewitness News Health Beat. And top of the health beat tonight, what researchers hope is a groundbreaking treatment for those of you with asthma. The condition is scary for patients who at times gasp for air, and it's also costly for companies as well as schools, as it leads to an average of 15 sick days per year. Our health beat anchor, Amory Tiernan, tonight talked with a patient who's tried an alternative therapy and reveals how you can too. Taking Trixie for her daily walk, just one of the simple tasks that 39-year-old Nichelle Jones says became more difficult because her asthma interfered with her breathing. A feeling almost like someone's sitting on your chest, like you can't get a full deep breath, it's very strained. Jones found she was increasing her use of medication and inhalers and worried that challenges breathing could impact her job. Um, I'm also a fitness instructor, and I would notice teaching a class like I couldn't get through a song like I normally could. So in hopes of more relief, Jones enrolled in her trial at St. Vincent Asthma Clinical Research Center. What we're trying to learn is a new and novel treatment for asthma. This is one of 18 centers participating in a National Institute of Health Phase two clinical trial, which is enrolling 192 patients nationwide. Researchers want to see if the use of CPAP, or continuous positive airway pressure, commonly used to treat patients with sleep apnea, could benefit asthma patients too. What's really good about this treatment is that it is tr you're being treated at night with clean, filtered air. And there are no medications. This is a treatment that is as natural as you can get. That was very important to me. I didn't want to be a, you know, kind of a guinea pig of a medication that may or may not do weird things to me later. <laughs> Jones agreed to sleep with the machine for 12 weeks. It was awkward at first. But the machine's not cute. I don't like wearing it. <laughs> don't like wearing it. My husband's not a huge fan, um, but he sees me not coughing and gasping and, and those types of things, so he's okay with it. We have these good medications, but we're not getting the adherence we would like to see for the treatment of asthma. And also with CPAP, we are hitting it at a different pathway for asthma. We're hitting it at the beginning of the cause of asthma. But one month in, it's already been a game changer for Jones. She's teaching Zumba and doesn't want the trial to end. I don't want to give it back. Like when it's over, I don't want to give the machine back because I'm feeling better. On the health beat, Anne Marie Tiernan, Eyewitness News. Glad she's doing better. Well, if you would like to learn more about the trial at the St. Vincent Asthma Clinical Research Center and compensation, we can connect you on WTHR.com. Just look under the health tab or call that number 338-8030. Again, more information on our website.